Hello everyone, I'm Hossein Hairi and this is a short presentation on reward sharing relational networks in multi-agent reinforcement learning systems which can be used as a framework for imagined behavior. Um, this is a joint work by uh, me and my advisor Dr. Kshidit Jareth and um, Dr. Reza Ahmadzadeh from Computer Science Department. Okay, let's begin with an example where four agents try to push four boxes into their desired location. Most of the typical multi-agent reinforcement learning scenarios are set up in one of the following ways. First, you may consider a single global reward function for all the agents. Or you might consider two different teams, each with a specific reward function. Or you might consider a distinct task for each agent. Therefore, you end up with four different individual reward functions. But what about more complex social networks? And because we know that in real world, social networks are more complicated than these um, typical scenarios. So our main goal in this work is to implement any arbitrary social network for a reinforcement learning um, society. Specifically, we build a reward sharing relational network which determines how agents care about each other so if one agent cares about another agent it receives reward according to that agent's individual reward and the individual reward is the self-interested reward uh, where each agent receives according to its own performance for example you see a self-interested scenario here and all the self loops indicate that each agent only cares about itself you also see that agent blue and agent red have a potential conflict with each other but if Agent Blue cares about Agent Red, and we have this relation here, um, and that's besides caring for itself, it may stop for a second and let the other agent, uh, the Red agent, pass first. So a reward sharing relational network, or an RSRN, can be defined using its adjacency matrix. Now each row of this matrix determines the social orientation of each agent in the network. The identity matrix, for example, corresponds to the self-interested society, or the all ones, or any other positive constant, for example, would represent a fully collaborative society. The weights can be any real number, including negative values, which indicate the hostile relationships. In this work, however, we use only zeros and ones for the weights. So having an RSRN, we want to now implement any arbitrary social network into a multi-agent reinforcement learning system, including now a complex social network like this. But specifically for the purpose of this work, we rely on literature from sociology and deploy different sociology-inspired networks later in the talk. Well, let's see how we're going to do that. So just like any typical reinforcement learning approach, agents try to maximize their return. But in this case, agents try to maximize their composite shared return, which is calculated by accumulating the discounted shared reward. And the way we calculate the shared reward is through scalarization of individual rewards according to the RSRN. And in this work, we specifically use a weighted product model for scalarization uh, of individual rewards. This diagram shows what we are essentially doing. So we have a multi-agent environment here, uh, which takes uh, actions uh, from the agent policies, and it outputs the individual rewards. The individual rewards then go through the reward sharing relational network. So the shared reward can be built from individual rewards and then are fed into the agent's policy optimizers. So to evaluate the effectiveness of the RSRN, we considered a three agent scenario where each agent tries to get to the closest landmark as fast as possible. And to make the environment a little bit more complex and unbalanced, we made agent number three slower than other agents. So uh, in most of the scenarios, it's not possible for agent number three to get to the closest landmark. 
Specifically, we train the agents using six different RSRN that are inspired from sociology literature. So the name of each network indicates the sociological implications of that specific network. For example, the first one being the survivalist or the self-interested RSRN. Or on the other hand, we have a communitarian or a fully collaborative society, which all agents care about each other. And we have other networks in between. For example, we have authoritarian network, where two agents care about one specific agent, in this case, agent number three. So here's a video showing the behavior of the agents after they've been trained. For example, in a self-interested society, um, agent blue and agent red, that are normal agents, they get to the landmark as fast as possible. Um, but the agent yellow is not able to do that because it's slower than other agents. Uh, but in a communitarian society or a collaborative society, we see that um, one of these agents, uh, either blue or red, helps the agent yellow, which is slower, uh, and pushes it into the closest landmark. Um, so in this case, we're seeing a, an emergent behavior, uh, which is uh, a result of implementing a communitarian network on top of this system. Or for example, in a collapsed authoritarian network, which is an extreme version of the authoritarian network, both agent blue and red try to finally put agent red into the closest landmark. So to train our agents, we use uh, the well-known multi-agent deep deterministic policy gradient algorithm and we trained agents for 500,000 episodes and then we measured the individual performance of each agent through its um, individual reward which is averaged over 5,000 test episodes. So if you look at this plot here the individual reward of the agents in the survivalist community uh, is completely unbalanced because of the fact that agent 3 is slower than other two agents. Whereas in a communitarian society, the individual performances of the agents are uh, relatively balanced because of the fact that we have imposed a fully collaborative network on top of the system. And you can see the same thing for, for example, collapse authoritarian, which agent 3 uh, despite the fact that it's slower than other agents, is receiving a good reward. On the right-hand side, you see the relational rewards, which technically it shows the social performance of each agent. For example, you see the survivalist scenario here, that agent 3 is doing poor, and that's because it's slower than other agents and is unable to get to the landmark. But in a communitarian society, all agents are getting the same exact shared reward, and that's why the social performance of all agents is equal. And we see the same situation in collapsed authoritarian, and that's because all the agents care about one particular agent. But in a collapsed tribal situation, we see that agent number two is receiving a high amount of relational rewards, and that's because is able to effectively help agent number three, which is slower than other agents. In conclusion, RSRN can effectively balance a multi-agent reinforcement learning system towards some arbitrary network. We of course have a scalability issue here, which incorporating large number of agents would be inefficient uh, practically. Another issue that may come across is policy interactability when, for example, one agent cares about too many other agents. And that's because it's hard for it to trace its own actions within a multi-agent environment. This can be addressed by credit assignment approaches, but we also should expect to have a sparse relational network for larger scale systems, because if you think about real social networks, there are usually sparse, meaning each agent is in interaction with only a fraction of the whole agents. And last but not least, choosing the right scalarization function is important. In this case, we used the weighted product model because it was better than just a weighted sum model, but this can change based on the particular scenario that agents are being trained for. Thank you for listening. Once again, I'm Hossein Hairi, and this is 
joint work done by me, my advisor, Dr. Jared, and Dr. Ahmad Zadeh.